Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I appreciate all the support in any format, whether it's the likes, the subscribe, comments, questions, um, all that interaction is amazing for me. All right, so back to the main program. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing Snoopy off the mat. So we're gonna do, um, it's actually gonna be bigger than 30 inches, but around that size. And we're gonna incorporate lights. So you can kind of see his house right here. These lights, we're actually gonna put um, the flashing lights behind them. So I'm super excited about this project. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here is the file that I used. So you can see who the designer is. Um, it comes with all of these. I had a hard time actually finding a file um, they all came with like 200 images and I didn't want to sort through the images to find the right one. So anyway, the Salty Yankee who, I mean, her files are so awesome. She has one and I wanted to use it so badly, but I wanted Snoopy and I didn't want the, the bullseye dog. So, um, I'm so bummed. So if you don't care about Snoopy, but you want to do the lights and you kind of want to follow along, this one would be a great alternative. I've used her files a few times now and I absolutely love it. All right, so let's go to design space. So I'm gonna show you what mine is gonna look like at the end. I modified it a little bit. I'm gonna show you all the modifications that I made. Um, I want to do the little, um, you know, like the part for the lights that you screw in. I wanna do this sparkly silver that I have that I know is gonna look great. Um, I wanted to do a regular white for Snoopy. And I have, I added the snow because without the snow here, um, you can see it's going to be uneven. So if you think about how it's going to stand, Snoopy's feet is going to be at one end and then the, the, his little house ends on a tip. So it's going to, it's going to tilt this way. So that's why I brought in this piece. Um, snow to kind of put behind and you know just to make it balanced so that way it's going to be sitting on this flat piece right here maybe I'm going to put it down oops grab the wrong piece um, I'm thinking that the snow will be a little bit maybe like maybe like that so this whole flat piece right here will be what's touching the table, you know, the dessert table, for instance, or the floor next to um, next to your Christmas tree against the wall. It will stand propped up. And so that would be really, really nice. So, all right. Um, I think those are the only real changes that I made that you would see, but it took a while to get here. So let's get started. Um, I am going to start a new canvas because I want to bring it in the way that you would see it. So let me, oops, hold on. Let me make sure that I saved this, which I think I did. Oh, I didn't. Okay, let's save it. And then let's start a new project because this one came in a little bit differently. Um, so when you go to download your file, I downloaded the SVG file because I wanted the SVG format. And then I'm going to go to upload here. And when you bring it in, it's all the images coming in as one, okay? So you're gonna select this one and add to canvas. Oh, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna give you a little message saying you're bringing in a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, but I'm super, well, this is uploading, downloading, inserting onto the canvas. Um, I'm really excited about doing this because I wanted to add the lights and have just another element to it. And then I wanted to sprinkle, I wanted to kind of spray it with like um, a glue adhesive and then lightly throw on faux snow. So like the, the top of his house will have a little bit of white here and there. Um, and then I'm going to use white glitter cardstock. So it's going to look like there's little specks and then add a little bit of snow there. Okay, so this is how it comes in. So you can see it's crazy. Your right hand side panel over here has got a bazillion pieces, right? So what you want to do is you want to ungroup it. And I'm just going to delete everything that I don't need right now from my canvas. 
just to free it up a bit because it's crazy right now. Um, so here I'm going to grab this and just delete. And this is a really cute image. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to delete this. So let's grab this little guy, make it 30 inches. So in this case, the width is just a little bit longer than the height. So I went with the width and I changed it to 30. And then if you remember, so now it's going to be really big and I don't want to scroll up and down all the time. So I'm just going to reduce this to 25% so that I can see it without scrolling. And then I went to shapes. And I thought, I, I ended up using this one. I just thought it looked, um, it has a flat, but then it's not a square. It's got, you know, so I thought it would be cute for like a little patch of snow. Now for this one, I am using, um, well, I am using glitter cardstock and I'm going to use 11 by 24 paper, which I know, I mean, not 11 by 24, 12 by 24 cardstock. Um, they have it at Joann's. I use it occasionally when I need it. Like for now, I think that would be a good thing. All right, I'm going to move this all the way to the back, arrange, send to the back. And if you noticed in the, on the canvas before I had mine gray because I have multiple pieces of white that I want to separate out like Snoopy. I want to do regular plain white cardstock. So that's why I didn't make the snow here white because if I did, it's going to show up on the same cutting mat and I want this to be, um, glitter white cardstock. Okay. So that's all I did. I sent it to the back. We don't need this in the back um, of the snow. So you could slice it out if you wanted to. But to me, I'm using that whole thing. I'm just going to use my 12 by 24 cardstock. All right. Let's look at a few things though. Do you see all these black pieces? So when you scroll down, what I first notice is that my black background was not solid. You see right here, you can kind of see that you could see through it, right? You see an outline. It's more like a coloring page than it is like a solid image, right? So I went to contour and I hid everything. Now, when I hit everything, I noticed this little guy turned black right here because there's nothing right there. So I went back to contour. I wanted, I did it on purpose because I wanted you to see what that would look like. So I don't want to hide that piece. I need that little piece in there to contour. Let's see. Oh. What's going on here? Come on. Um, I was going to select on that piece. And let me see if I can find it over here. So it's like a little wedge. Kind of hard to tell <laughs> which wedge it is. Let's see. It's a little bit flatter. All these pieces look the same. Um, is it this piece? No, that's not that piece. I'm silly. It's this piece. Okay. I think I got it. No, I didn't because now I blacked out something else. Darn it. Okay, sorry. Let's click on this again and go to contour. Oh, so I, did I click on this piece? Okay, so I don't want that. I want to scroll down just a bit. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, design. Okay, there. I don't want this piece right here. So now it's, it's going to be a blank piece right there, right? It's going to hang. Um, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the black is all good. Um, what is weird though, why 
did it do that? Um, let me hit contour again. It's still showing blank, which is weird, like see-through. But here is, hmm. Okay, we did it right. All of this is grayed out. Okay, now um, you. I don't know if you noticed this right above it. It's this little piece right here. So what I did was, because I couldn't understand why that piece is there. It's very odd. So I deleted it and I realized that there's a gap. So I don't want to delete it. I'm going to undo it. So these are all the little things that you've got to piece together when you have a design that wasn't done, I don't know, I, perfectly, right? Up, up to par with some of the like really good designs that you don't have to um, make any changes to. So I ended up grabbing this piece, hit the shift key and grab your outline and let's weld it together. We want it to be all, all our black. We want it to come from the background. Okay. And then there's open spaces for it to come through. So now this black, because we welded it, it moved it all the way to the front. You just need to go to arrange and send it to the back. So there's our black in the background. Um, so now we're all good. So that means all these little pieces right here, these little pieces are added on top, which we don't need because um, let's look at this piece. So this piece right here is the little speck for this yellow one, right? I'm going to click over here so you can see it. So that piece is right here, which was it this one? Yeah. Watch when I delete it, you're still going to see it because there's a slice um, coming through the yellow piece. So it's picking up the black from the from the black background. So all of these pieces we don't need. So I'm going to hit shift and I'm just going to grab all these and you'll see if you're worried, just delete the first few and you'll see that the black didn't disappear because the black from the background is still available. So I'm going to delete all of this. Um, what I did find though is that we do need these two black pieces. If you can guess what they are, it's Snoopy's eye and his ear. So if I delete this, his eye, oh, his eye does not, oh, it does disappear. So the white, um, I feel like that white piece is one of these white pieces over here, um, which we wouldn't need. So anyway, I'm going to undo it because I want the, the black eye to come back. Oh, man. I deleted too, I, I went back too far, but um, we're just gonna grab all these pieces right here. So I'm hitting the shift key and I'm deleting everything. And now we have all of that. Um, let's see, what's going on over here? Oh, this snow, we're gonna arrange send all the way to the back there. So now our black is in place, the white is in place. Um, all we have left then all these pieces will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock except for this snow that I added. So if you don't have it, you don't have to add this piece. You can add something smaller. You can actually add maybe just um, black right here so that, or on your foam board, you just cut it straight across so that it's, it sits, there's just a black piece right here. So it's up to you how you want to do that but my snow is gonna sit like this and it's not gonna have a black outline, it's just gonna be a white patch of snow. If you wanted a black outline, you can easily do that by going to offset. So uh, you know what, I'll just show you right now. So let's go to offset. Um, I don't like, this doesn't look like a really thick outline, so I'm gonna change it to 0.10 and I'm gonna apply. Okay, so um, why is it not applying? Okay, there. So you see now it has a black outline. If I were to do this, what I would do at this point is I would grab this black background and my new offset and I would weld it together so that all the black is joined together. But I don't want to do that for me personally. So I'm going to remove my black out. Oh, let me undo that. I had both things touching. 
So I'm just going to delete my black outline for the snow. Okay. So here we have this. Um, so the only thing, like I was telling you, that is too big for a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock is the snow and the black background. So if I move this out of the way, all these pieces here are all good. Um, let's see. So I have this piece that I need to work with and this piece. This piece is fine. It will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. Now you have this. So what I would recommend right now is um, I have my grid of squares. So I'm going to go. That's an SVG file that I have on my website. So you guys can go there and get it or you can create it on your own. We're basically just creating a grid of squares so that we can slice this piece apart. So I'm going to put in squares because it's my squares and I think I named it squares and I'm going to go to ownership and uploaded. What's nice about having the SVG file is every time you need to slice something, you can just go and upload this file, which is my, you know, nicer than recreating it, which I'm going to show you in a second. So here is the grid. The file comes with both the grid of nine and the grid of 16. So the grid of nine is basically 33 inches by 33. And then the 16 is, uh, what is that? 44 inches by 44 inches. And then you can easily add a line, um, a whole line row or column. All right, so I'm gonna insert this one and add to canvas and When it comes in, it comes in grouped together. So the first thing that you should do is, you know, it's gonna drop in the corner and just go to position and I would round to the nearest whole number. So 3.3, I would round down to three, 3.8, I would round up to four. And the reason is you just wanna be on a whole number. So if we make any adjustments to this, it's a lot easier to correct and update and modify. So that's why. Now, once we have this, then what you want to do is you want to go scroll down and get your black background, send it to the front, and we just want to look at this. We want to make sure that it's cutting where we want it to cut so that we don't have any small pieces. So for instance, I don't like this because this light, this little piece is going to be hanging off by itself. I got to tape it back together or glue it back together, keep track of it. I want big pieces. So I'm going to want something like, uh, let's see, let's see what I can do. That's not ideal, but this bulb is so small and it is what it is. What I want to make sure is this little guy right here. Um, why? Let me go to contour and see if I can hide all. Oh no. Okay. So there must, oh gosh, <laughs> let me go back to contour. It flipped the image on me. Um, so there's, there must be like a little hole right here. So it's not enclosed and so it won't let me um, contour that piece. So I just want to make sure that this is all connected together. So right now I feel like all the pieces look pretty big and pretty good. So you're going to go to your grid and ungroup it so that we can slice each square with the image right now. Okay. So we're going to um, go, we'll start from this corner down here. I'm going to grab the square and the image and I'm going to slice. Then I'm going to grab the middle piece and slice. You can only slice two items at one time. So it's always going to be the square with the image. Um, your slicing button will be grayed out if you grab anything but two. If you grab three, a hundred, <laughs> it's going to be a no. If you grab just one, it's also going to be no. It only works when you grab two items. Now when I'm slicing, I like to move all my pieces 
over. So like, I'm gonna move this down so that um, I know all my pieces are good and I also know where they go. Because when I use regular black cardstock, it's hard to tell front side from back side. Um, so I have it like this so that I know exactly how it's supposed to look. So now I got rid of the squares that we don't need, right? And now I'm doing the next row of slicing. I'm basically taking this 30 inch, you know, image that we can't cut um, or do anything with on the Cricut, but I'm slicing it into pieces that we have. We do have paper that size, material that size, and the Cricut can cut it. And then at the end, when we actually take all these pieces um, off the cutting mat, we're gonna piece it back together like a puzzle. So, and then let's grab these two pieces and slice. And then we're gonna bring that row down to the bottom. So we're just gonna bring as soon as it slices. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one down. And you see the nice thing about the grid is that all our four corners are gonna meet up and it's gonna be easy to put it back together. We're gonna push all the four corners right here. They're gonna just go right up to each other. We're gonna tape it, which means that our seams are going to be as minimal as possible because you're not going to have any gaps and you're not going to have any pieces overlapping either because these are perfectly they are perfectly aligned and perfectly flushed with each other so that's why it's nice and then if you didn't want to get the svg file which by the way there is a way to get it for free you just subscribe for my newsletter um but i get it some people uh, sometimes I'm just like, no way, I'm not doing that. Um, so if you didn't want to buy it and you also didn't want to get it for free, you can recreate these squares. You just make them 11 inches by 11 inches and you make them flush with each other and you make sure that, you know, you just build it. I built that. So it's, it's not hard, but you're going to have to build it for every time you do an off the mat as opposed to just inserting it um, as an image. So that's all. All right, so these pieces are all done. We're gonna go to the Make It screen. Oh, I should have saved it, but that's okay. You're gonna go to the Make It screen, and I didn't change any of the colors here, but that I'll show you in a second if you wanted to change the colors like I originally wanted to. So here is the head, right? It's pretty big. Um, here is his body and these are all the little lights you can move i don't know if you know this but on your mat on your on your make it mat you can all these things are movable so you can fill in all this empty space so that you would have a sizable piece of scrap to use next time here is my snow uh this must be his ear although what's weird is that's his ear where's the other piece i must have deleted it by accident Okay, here is the the red. Um, whoa, this piece is gigantic. Hold on, let's. I'm gonna cancel out of that in a second. Um, okay, these pieces look really big, right? What you can do is first of all, let's click one of these. You can move the object. So I'm gonna move it to another mat completely. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a new mat and I want it to be red. It's in the current colors. I'm gonna confirm. So you see this piece is kind of slender, so I can rotate this. And it's really close. I'm gonna move it over and rotate it some more. And now this is right at the edge of your 12 inch line, which is totally okay. You can still cut this with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I mean, there is still room. I can rotate it some more. Or when you go to cut this, just make sure that your paper at the edge goes up just a little bit past the 12 inch line. It's okay because we know up here, they always give a margin of 0.25. So it's never gonna cut at, the, at that top line. So you can move your paper down a little bit and to ensure that it doesn't get cut off right here. All right, let's go back to this one. 
This one is also long, right? So you can move it. Your diagonal length is always gonna give you more space um, to get this cut. So look, what looked like way past 12 inches is actually you know, just slightly over 10 inches. Um, now these pieces are pretty big, so it needs to stay down here. Um, all right, let's go back to this piece. Why is this piece so big? And did I, oh, it's all connected. All right, so let's cancel out of, well, this is the red. Let's see what else we have. We have the black pieces. Um, it's all fine. These are our light bulbs. We're still good. Everything looks good here. What is this green? Oh, the sock. And this piece we already moved. Okay, so let's go, let's cancel back and go back to the canvas. And I must have missed this. I thought that we didn't have any pieces that were really, really big. But, oh, it's this piece right here. This piece does look really big. So let's ungroup this. And this piece is super long. What can we do? Um... For some reason, I didn't notice that. Darn it. Yeah, this piece is way long, 22 inches by eight inches. Here is the good thing. Um, what I would do, I would definitely continue slicing it right here to break it up into two pieces for one. Um, it's still gonna be really big. We're gonna need to slice it in half at some point. Um, the good thing is I was always gonna use red glitter cardstock, so that's gonna help us hide the seams quite a bit. You could also like add, could we add anything right there? Let's move this piece out and see what we can do. So here, you know what? Let's duplicate this piece so we can see where it goes and what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna duplicate it. Now I'm gonna move it up here. And the reason why I said that is because, you know, if we start slicing off these small pieces right here and right here, we're not gonna notice, like I was looking to see where that seam is. That seam's gonna be right here we might not see that seam at all. And this seam right here, we're probably not gonna notice it at all. It's, first of all, it would be tiny. So if we were to cut off this piece right here and this piece, or we you know, cut off that piece right there, this little guy right here, I wonder if at that point, if we were to tilt this, I don't think that we would be able to get it, but okay. Let's continue, Let, let's slice this into two pieces, okay? So for that piece, what I would do is go to shapes and I would do this guy right here. And we're gonna make him really, really thin. We're gonna match it to the width of this, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in so that we can really see this. Okay, so I'm gonna unlock this. Oops, I don't know why I did that. Why? Why is my oval disappearing? Where is it? Here's my oval. Okay. Oh wait, I don't want it there. I want it over here. This is actually a really, oh my gosh, hold on. Let's bring that oval back to where we need it, where I can see it. Okay, here we go. Put it over here, zoom in. So, you know, with these off the map projects, the reason why I'm even, 
I'm breaking this up into two pieces here because it looks really natural, right? It, it would be just another, you know, little slat like all the other pieces on his house. So I'm trying to narrow, like break it down into the smallest piece possible without noticeable seams. So over here, we're gonna make a deliberate seam, okay? I'm gonna make this super, super tiny to kind of match this width right here so that we can slice it. This is just a little bit too big. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and bring this in over a little bit more. And I'm being a little particular, but I think that looks good, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these two items and we're gonna slice. And we're basically causing that line to go all the way through, okay? Oh my gosh, that looks good, right? Okay, so let's get rid of this piece. Let's move this back up. Okay, so now we have, we're gonna duplicate this piece because we wanna separate it into two pieces, right? So I'm gonna go to contour. On this piece, I'm gonna get rid of this top piece. So here's my bottom piece at 16.6. .6. That's gonna be tough. I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna put it diagonally to see if it would fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. It's at 13.7 by 9.75. Oh, this piece is just too big. I don't think I can get it. Ah, we're gonna, oh no, it's gonna be, it's just a little bit too long. So it's 11.5 by 12.4. It's not gonna cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I was hoping, but you know, we're gonna have to cut this like somewhere. But the thing is, it's less noticeable when it's a small little seam right here as opposed to a seam running straight through. So on this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit contour and get rid of that bottom piece because now we've already separated it out. And so I'm gonna get rid of this bottom piece and it's gonna be this top piece, right? So we're kinda, you know, work our way through this piece. Like maybe slice it right here, maybe slice it right here, right here. You know, like you wanna slice it in the smaller places so that your seams won't be so noticeable. The worst thing that you would do is like, I mean, I wouldn't wanna do it right down the middle cause this is kinda thick and then you just have this line running down, right? So you wanna do it where your eyes aren't drawn to it. The red glitter cardstock is definitely gonna help. So you've got that piece there. Unless you wanna do it straight down the middle, knowing that you're gonna add like an ornament or you wanna add a little sign that has, you know, your family name on it so that it would just cover through that, then you know, I think that's that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put, you know, the stormers or something like that, and that's gonna hide that seam. So anyway, I can't wait for you to follow along. Meet me on um, the, the assembly tutorial, and we're gonna piece it together, add the lights, um, slice this up however you want to, or don't slice it up. If you use 12 by 24 cardstock, this would be fine. So it's up to you or make it smaller. Those are, we have so many different options when it comes to off the mat. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks guys.